two quantum particles that are created together are entangled. The polarization or spin will be connected however great the distance between them becomes. In a new theory called quantum atom theory, this problem can be explained. Light has symmetry and geometry that forms Einstein's curvature of space-time, creating quantum entanglement. Light will always take the simplest and most efficient path expanding out in all directions, forming light spheres of electromagnetic radiation. The polarization of the light will be the same for the entire surface of the light sphere, creating quantum entanglement and the symmetry and geometry of space-time. In this theory, it is the emission and absorption of light from one atom to another that forms the forward momentum of time, continuously creating the broken symmetry of space-time. Because it is impossible to achieve absolute zero, all atoms radiate electromagnetic radiation continuously, even the atoms of an observer. The atoms bond together and then create their own space-time geometry and symmetry in unison. All the atoms create their own space-time geometry, but is it because an observer can choose when and where to collapse the wave function that we have free will? Life will create its own ripples in the fabric of space-time, forming its own broken symmetry of its own evolutionary path. The observer will see and feel time as only having one dimension because there was an evolutionary advantage in seeing time this way. But in reality the observer is creating their own space-time geometry within the fabric of Einstein's curvature of three-dimensional space-time. If the laws of physics are universal then this process formed by the wave-particle duality of light must be happening everywhere and must affect everything, even consciousness itself. Despite rapid progress, much about how the brain works remains a mystery, but what we do know is that our brains work by electrical impulses forming chemical changes. This electrical activity also forms electromagnetic fields. If these electrical impulses that cause chemical changes are formed by photons, then consciousness is formed by the physics of quantum mechanics. Therefore our thought processes could be seen as the most advanced part of a universal process and our hopes and dreams could be forming their own future space-time geometry. This theory gives us an intuitive picture capturing the existence of an underlying layer of reality. That gives us an objective reality to quantum mechanics as a process of continuous symmetry forming and breaking, a process of continuous creation.